Hi, it's Vicky here, featuring the January card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Today I will be creating 10 different cards, but first let's take a look at what's inside. You will find this uh, stamp set, as well as all those little snowflakes. These are sparkling enamel dots, and uh, they are by Doodlebuck, and they are called Lily White Sprinkles. There is a piece of uh, full of stickers, and I just love how cute they are. Of course, there are 6x6 pattern paper, and I am going uh, quickly through them so you can see the colors and a general idea of what's inside. And uh, as always, there is cardstock. Now, there are 5 different colors, and if you cut them out, you can create 10 different cards. I am going to show you today how I cut out my cardstock. So either I cut it at four and a quarter, if uh, I do, I want to make a top folding card, or I cut them at uh, five and a half. So for the short uh, strips of paper, I have to fold at uh, to score and fold at uh, four and a quarter, and uh, for the long ones, I have uh, to score and fold at uh, five and a half. So I'll go ahead and do this for all the cardstocks included in the kit and I will end up having 10 different cards which I am going to try to decorate. So let's get started with card number 1. For my first card I am using this beautiful pattern paper and I am cutting out the empty space on uh, either side just making sure that I end up with a nice panel with the main design. Now I'm not measuring anything here, I just uh, uh, go ahead and cut out the white space. Now with this uh, purple polka dot uh, pattern paper I am measuring and I am cutting it out to be a standard uh, card size so that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I am going to cut off uh, just a quarter of an inch at the bottom so they match perfectly one another. I am going to stick one on top of the other using uh, foam squares at the back and this is going to add a little bit of dimension on my card. If you notice there is a nice snowman at the bottom of this pattern paper but uh, it uh, is exactly the same as this sticker so I am going to stick it on top and I am applying some powder with my powder tool just uh, to remove the stickiness from the back because I want to stick it on top by using foam squares. I just try to enhance and make my card even more interesting than it is now. So I'm going to stick that on top and cover the design. And uh, my card is pretty much finished. I am going to uh, add a little bit of uh, shine with my uh, clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. I am applying uh, the glitter on the heart as well as on the word wonderful. I am adding some tape adhesive in the back and I am going to stick it on top of one of the cards that I made earlier. To finish it off I am using some glossy accents on the heart as well as on the nose of the snowman. And that was the first card, you will see close-up photos of all the cards at the end of the video. So let's move on to card number 2. For my second card I will be using this pattern paper with a rectangle die, this is a die by Simon Says Stamp. And I am also going to use this uh, landscape die by Lone Phone to cut out two different snowbanks. For this card I am going to create a scene and uh, for all the cards today I mainly used uh, supplies that were included in the kit but I did add a menu of uh, the dies that I already have. Now I have also cheated just a little bit so I did add a couple of uh, white cardstocks which I am sure every card maker has at home. And remember that if you don't have the rectangle die, you can always cut it with your paper trimmer. And if you don't have the die for the snowbank, you can just use your scissors to create a curve. So now we'll go ahead and create my scene by stamping uh, three different uh, snowflakes. I am picking out uh, the smallest ones and I am creating a triangle on uh, my a stamping block. I will stamp them with Versamark ink and uh, also notice how I rotate the stamping block so the same uh, snowflake doesn't fall just next to itself. 
Once all my snowflakes are stamped, I will go ahead and apply some white embossing powder. The one that I'm using today, today is the bright uh, opaque one by WoW and I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. So all I have to do now is to use the stickers. I am going with a, a glue and I just think that uh, this, uh, all those stickers are so cute and they make perfect cards for uh, little kids. I want uh, this card to be dimensional again, so I'm using the same trick with my powder tool. I remove the stickiness from the back and I will apply some uh, foam tape to add that dimension that I want. I did a similar video last month where I shared uh, 10 different cards using the December card hit by Simon Says Stamp and it was uh, such a success, I got so many comments and uh, I know that uh, you loved it, so I decided to make another one with a January card kit. And if you want this to be a monthly feature where I am creating 10 different cards with monthly uh, Simon Says Stamp card kit, just leave me a comment and let me know. So now I'm going to stick uh, that on top of my card base and my card is finished. All that's left to do is to add the sentiment. For the sentiment I am going with a little thanks that is in the stamp set which I am going to stamp with uh, my black ink on uh, just some white uh, cardstock. Once I have stamped the sentiment, I am going to use my paper trimmer and cut out a small banner which I am going to stick with uh, my tape runner on top of my card. And that finishes the card, let's move on to the next card. For my third card I am going for a shaker card, so I am using the rectangle and the circle inside to create my window and uh, I believe that a set of uh, rectangle dies as well as a set of uh, uh, round dies are really a must have for every card maker. I am applying some adhesive at uh, the back with my tape runner to stick the acetate for the window and now I am uh, going to stick a couple of uh, stickers. And I am using this cute uh, little penguin and of course I gave him some uh, eyes to stand on. Now uh, for the inside of the windows I will be using those snowflakes and uh, I just love how iridescent they are. I am adding them at uh, my window which I am going to cover up with a piece of uh, the pattern paper. Now this pattern paper, it, although it doesn't show with all the lighting that I have on my studio, it's uh, actually a polka dot and kind of grey. Uh, to finish it off, I'm going to stick it on top of uh, my card base. I'm just applying a little bit of uh, tape adhesive at the back. And uh, now I have to add the sentiment. For the sentiment, I have this pattern paper which is full of all those little squares which you will see me later using it again and again. And I'm going with that uh, little square that says just chilling. I'm going to create a banner out of it, so I'm cutting a um, fish tail at the bottom and then I'm going to secure it at the top of my card by using a foam square. Now I'm going to add a few finishing touches, some glossy accents at uh, the nose of uh, the penguin and uh, I will be using my white uh, gel pen uh, around the eyes just to enhance it just a little bit. It's going to help it pop even more and I'm going to create the outline of the eyes and this is going to finish off my card. So let's move on to the next card. Here is another cute pattern paper that was included in the kit. I am cutting out those uh, two little kits and uh, the idea is to create a Polaroid so I am measuring. I don't have a Polaroid uh, die that uh, measures uh, the exact same uh, uh, sizes as I wanted to so I created my own using my uh, paper trimmer. I am going to secure the image at the back of the Polaroid by using my matte medium and I have my matte medium in uh, this uh, fine tip applicator which makes my life really easy. 
And uh, I am going to be using uh, that uh, pattern paper with all those uh, little uh, squares, which uh, you will be seeing me uh, using again and again today. And I am going for that little square that says Snow Happy Together. And this is going to be used on top of my Polaroid as an embellishment. I have also used uh, a die by Simon Sestam that, cut, that cuts out the word winter. So now I am going to add a few uh, foam squares at the back of the Polaroid. You know that I love uh, dimension on my cards. And I am going to apply some tape adhesive at one corner of the Polaroid and secure that uh, little square. Once that's there, I will be using my scissors to cut out the excess. I'm going to stick the Polaroid on my panel, kind of offset, just to make it look more interesting. And I'm going to secure the word winter, again with my matte medium. And I just love that uh, white on white look when it comes on uh, winter cards. As a final touch, I am going to add one of those uh, snowflakes that was included in the kit, which again I am going to secure with my matte medium. And now all that's left to do is to stick that panel on top of uh, one of the card bases that I have already created. I will be using my tape runner and stick it on one of the white cards. Now for the fifth card I have this leftover from a card I made previously and uh, this is uh, one that I told you before it has a nice a little polka dots in grey and uh, I am uh, just cutting it out to be a panel that fits uh, perfectly a, a standard card. I will be using this um, three square stamp by Simon Says Stamp which cuts out three different square windows. And these are perfect for adding uh, little scenes from this pattern paper. So I will be using those three ones. And uh, I just love the colors on and the combination of all of them. And uh, you can see that one of them already has the sentiment for me. So all I have to do now to assemble my card is just use some tape runner at the back and stick one next to the other. And remember that if you don't have that die that cuts out these uh, three windows, you can always use your paper trimmer or your craft knife. For my card base I decided to go with the grey one and just to make it even more interesting I am using this uh, embossing folder that's full of snowflakes and this is an embossing folder by Cuddlebug which is so old I can't remember how many years I have it but it's always nice to use supplies that you have uh, for years and uh, you still love. The embossing folder gives a beautiful texture on my card front and now all that's left to do is to stick my strip with all those images on top. I am using some foam tape at the back to add a little bit of dimension. This card is also quick and easy to make. I am working on a white panel that's uh, slightly smaller than a standard card and I am going to peel off the winter sticker and stick it about the center of the card. And to make sure that I am going to stick it uh, straight, I am using a T-ruler which is always a great tool to have. 
and you will see that W kind of goes outside of uh, the card panel. So I am going to use my scissors and cut out the excess and nobody will ever know that I have cut out uh, a part of this uh, letter. So to embellish it uh, even more, I am going to use that pattern paper with those, those tiny little squares and have cut out uh, those uh, strips of paper which I am going to stick using some uh, tape adhesive at the back. This is actually a big roll of uh, foam tape by Simon Says Stamp, which I am sure is going to last me forever. I am using some tape adhesive to secure the panel on top of my card base and my card is finished. So let's move on to the next card. For this card I have chosen two pattern papers and I am going to uh, place one on top of the other but for the one that is going on top I am going to create a curve. So I have those uh, scalloped die edges and uh, this uh, snowflake die which I have already cut out and since I know where I want to place that snowflake, I am making sure that it's going to fit. So I'm going to pass it through my C6 machine. And you can see here the outcome. And since I want to make the snowflake stand even more, I am going to apply some uh, embossing powder on top. So first I am uh, smoothing it on top of my ink pad. I'm using Versa marking, of course, and uh, then I will be applying some uh, embossing powder. The one that I am using is clear but has glitter inside. So I'm applying it. I will be using my heat gun to set it. And the snowflake is really sparkling in real life. I hope you can see that on camera. For the sentiment, I am using a phrase from the stamp set and I am going to mount it on my stamping block in a curve. I make sure that uh, the curve follows the curve of uh, my paper and then I am going to use some uh, VESA marking to stamp it and apply some white embossing powder. Once the sentiment is there, I am also going to uh, stamp that uh, trail Again with Versamark and applying uh, white embossing powder. And while I'm doing that, just to let you know that uh, there is a giveaway on my blog. So for a chance to win this uh, January card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. And as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using today just below the video in the description area. If the card kit is uh, out of stock, I'm going to make sure to link you to that pattern paper as well as the stickers that are included in the kit so you might want to get them separately. I am going to stick one on top of the other using uh, foam tape at the back and then I will secure the snowflake using my matte medium. I am using my tape runner to stick that panel on top of my card base and my card is finished. And now for a card that's super cute and perfect for little girls. This is a leftover from a cutout I did earlier for another card for that uh, I used the snowbank uh, die. So I am using it on top of this uh, cardstock and uh, I am going to stack three different figures, one on top of the other. So that was super easy and uh, I will uh, create my scene by adding some uh, snow, but instead of snowflakes I will be sticking those uh, sparkling enamel dots. For the sentiment, I will be using again this uh, pattern paper with the small squares and I'm going with uh, one square that says, do you want to build a snowman? And I guess now you know what I, why I think this is a cute card for a little girl. So let's move on to card number nine. 
This card is going to be a window card, but not a shaker card. So I have again used the same technique with the rectangle and the round dies, and uh, I have already uh, adhered my acetate. And now I'm going to secure that uh, cute little girl picking out of the window. For the back, I am using one of those uh, scraps that I have from a previous card when I was cutting out those uh, snow bags. And I'm going to create a winter wonderland. So I have those dies by Penny Black and I have uh, cut out a few uh, of those uh, houses which I am going to stick on top of that uh, snow bank. These are not going to show too much but they are going to create that uh, illusion of the village far away at the back. I am placing the window panel on top using foam squares so that creates a distance from the background and uh, all that's left to do is to add the sentiment. I have cut out a strip of paper and uh, I am going to stack one next to the other those uh, tiny little squares and again you know where I got them from that pattern paper. So I am mainly going with uh, the ones that have purple on them just because they match perfectly the outfit of uh, that uh, little girl. And one of those uh, squares actually serves the purpose of uh, the sentiment, where it writes uh, Winter Wonderland. I am going to use my paper trimmer and cut out just a hair on top and at the bottom of this strip just to make it even. And I am going to secure it with uh, foam squares at the back. And that finishes the card, so let's move on to the last card. For the last card base, I happen to have the same uh, colored uh, cardstock on my stash, so I cut out a panel. But uh, you don't really have to do that, you can uh, work directly on the card base. So I am using just a little bit of gesso with water, and with a thin brush I am going to create some splashes. When you are using a thin brush, then you make sure that you don't make uh, big uh, splashes of color. Now, I am creating a night sky. So once I'm happy with the outcome, I made sure that uh, this is dry and I'm going to uh, stick on top one of the snow banks. Again, I've used uh, one of those uh, dies to create that. I'm going to stick it at the very, very bottom of my panel. And again, I used the die that says Winter from Simon Says Stamp and uh, I'm going to stick it along the curve of uh, the snow bank. I just love how striking the white is against that uh, blue color. And this again is a super simple card, I'm just going to stick uh, a sticker on top and my card is finished. All that's left to do is to stick that panel on top of my card base. And now let's take a quick look on all 10 cards that I made today. It was really fun to create, they are all very simple and uh, quick to make, but uh, I think they are really really cute. You will see close-up photos of all the cards at the end of the video. But before I go, let's take a quick look on uh, what's left. So I still have tons of uh, snowflakes. I do have many of uh, the enamel dots. 
Of course, I have the stamp set forever, and uh, I do have uh, many of the pattern papers where I can cut out all those little pieces and create even more cards. You can see I still have uh, many of that uh, little squares. And of course, I have many more stickers. So I guess I could make uh, even more cards with uh, the supplies that I still have in the kit. And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Here are some close-up photos of the cards. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter your name for a chance to win this January card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And if you had fun, don't forget to like my video, leave me a comment and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my videos already, make sure to do so because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. And if you need more inspiration, click on the video on screen right now to watch 10 cards that I made when I was using the December card kit. Thank you all for watching!